Hello, everyone. My name is Lori Maynell, and I'm on this year's Schumacher Awards Committee. The Schumacher Award was created by the late Frederick Schumacher to honor his mother, Mary. Both of them were members of First Church. In his will, Mr. Schumacher charged the First Church Board of Trustees with giving this award each year to three women between the ages of 15 and 20. The award recognizes Christian devotion to a member of one's immediate family. So I always like to point out that the award is not given for high grades, scholastic achievement, or athletic ability. It's really given for showing Christian devotion to someone in your family. And so that often means for our award recipients that they put the needs of someone else ahead of themselves, that they served others unwaveringly, and that they really went out of their way to make the lives of family members easier and to provide strength during a difficult time. This is the kind of work that often goes unrecognized. It doesn't come with a certificate. It doesn't come with a trophy. Uh, so the Schumacher Award is a rare award in that it lifts up service to others and being a source of strength, love, and devotion for others. It's my privilege to introduce you to the three award recipients for 2021. Their names are Blair Andrews, Emily Klein, and Allison Dellinger, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each. Blair Andrews is nominated for Christian devotion to her mom, her two sisters, and her community. Eight years ago, when Blair was 10, her dad died of a rare thyroid cancer only three weeks after he was diagnosed. When her family was struggling, Blair's faith gave her strength, and she was able to reassure them that faith would see them through the loss of their dad. Four months after Blair's dad died, a young family friend who was like a big brother to Blair was diagnosed with leukemia. Blair organized their elementary school to support his fight, and later in high school, she led her high school field hockey team's fundraiser, Stick It to Cancer, in his honor. In two years, Blair's team raised and donated over $13,400 to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Blair has willingly shared her own life experiences and vulnerabilities with her classmates at Worthington Kilbourne High School. She participated in a series of mental health awareness announcements using her experience of losing her father at a young age to help her fellow students. This past year, she helped care for one of her older sisters who had moved back home and then was diagnosed with COVID. Blair wrote notes to her sister each day detailing the specific prayers she was lifting up and she delivered them to her sister's quarantine room together with her meals. A consistent theme across Blair's recommendation letters is Blair's selflessness, compassion, and thoughtfulness. Blair is finishing her senior year at Worthington Kilbourne High School and she plans to attend The Ohio State University next fall to become a teacher. next recipient is Emily Klein. Emily is nominated for Christian devotion to her twin brother, older brother, and parents. When Emily's family faced a series of difficult circumstances in the past year, she became their lifeline. At the end of August, Emily's twin brother was involved in an accident in which he was thrown from a golf cart, striking his head on pavement and immediately losing consciousness. He spent two weeks in the intensive care unit at Nationwide Children's Hospital with a traumatic brain injury. His medical team was unsure whether he would live and what the long-term effects would be for him going forward. Emily's belief in the power of prayer and love provided necessary support to each member of her family at a very difficult time. During the fall, Emily's dad lost his job due to COVID cuts, which added more stressors to their lives. Fortunately, at the same time, her brother continued to recover. 
Emily knew that her dad and her brother had each lost a part of their identities, so she strived to give them hope through her faith, and that helped them start down their own paths of Christian discovery and growth. During her junior year, Emily organized and led a Bible study with freshman and sophomore girls, providing a safe atmosphere to discuss the pressures of high school life. Emily is going to graduate from Worthington Kilbourne High School in just a few weeks, and she plans to attend the Ohio State University next fall to major in the pharmacy program. Our third recipient is Allison Dellinger. Allison is nominated for Christian devotion to her father and her two brothers. Allison's father was diagnosed with cancer two years ago, so she has cared for her dad and her two younger brothers throughout her dad's illness. Allison has basically stepped into the role of family matriarch, and she works to help her family through this crisis, looking after her two younger brothers with grace and maturity. During her dad's illness, Allison has sought out community resources and followed through with referrals. The stress of her father having cancer has affected her brothers as well. Allison makes sure they are safe and they're attending their supporting counseling sessions. She uses her school's guidance team to gather support and academic help for her brothers, looking after them without complaint or reserve. Given her character and strength, Allison also takes on student leadership roles at school and keeps up with her own rigorous studies. Allison's brothers say she's the glue holding the family together. Her, her nominator says that Allison is an angel here on earth, managing her family with compassion and dedication that never falters. A strong student in the top of her class, Allison is graduating this year from Bishop Ready High School and will be attending Bowling Green State University on an academic scholarship. Please join me in congratulating Emily, Blair, and Allison. 